don't work with bad lenders. So we all know we're in a really strong seller's market right now and we need everything we can to help give our buyers a leg up on getting that house, right? It's very competitive. And as a listing agent, when we're evaluating offers, what's one of the most important things we look at first? Hey, we're gonna look at the quality of the buyer and how do we do that? Are they cash? Great, any proof of funds. If they're finance, great. Who is their lender? Is it somebody reputable and that can do a great job? So guys, we know that when you are presenting offers, writing offers as, as a buyer's agent, having a great lender can really help you win out those other offers. So how many of us have trouble communicating to our clients why they should use a good lender or one of your referral partners as a lender. Now, I'm not saying steer and they have to use one lender over another. And if you wanna give them three choices, give them their three choices. But I guarantee you, the three people you refer them to as an agent will 90% of the time do a better job than somebody they found online. And here's some insight onto why though it's tough for the buyer to decide and how we can communicate it better to them to help them get a higher level of service, a higher satisfaction throughout the entire process. Guys, first off, let's think about this from the buyer's perspective. So you'll say you're a home buyer and you wanna go get a loan. You just think it's pretty easy. You pop in your uh, information online somewhere. They gave you the approval letter, right? Automated system comes right back. You think, great, I'm approved. And they are quoting you some great rate. And they said, well, yeah, we'll close on time, no problem. Well, how do you really know as a buyer if that lender is telling the truth? How do you know which one's gonna do a better job? What do they all say? All the lenders say, hey, we have the best rates. Hey, we have the lowest fees. Hey, we're gonna close on time. They all say the same thing. And if they're all saying the same thing, how can you make the right choice if you're the buyer? You almost can't. And so when we're explaining this to our, our buyers, we're gonna explain it to them just like that. Say, Mr. Buyer, I know that all these lenders are telling you the same thing. They're telling you we, we have the best rates, we have the lowest fees, and we're gonna close on time the least amount of hassle. They're all saying that. So how do you, Mr. Buyer, know the difference in who's good and who's bad and why does it matter? So Mr. Buyer, one of the first ways to help you discern what, who's real and who's not is to lean on my experience. I've worked with, these, with a lot of these lenders in the past and I know that certain ones say they're gonna close on time and they don't. Certain ones say, hey, here's 20%, even if we're putting 20% down, 800 credit score, they still can't close the loan. And if I know that, how many other listing agents also know that? So whether it's true or it's not, if the listing agent believes it, that's what we have to go on because they're instructing their sellers on which offer to accept. So this is not necessarily about truth, it's about perception from the listing agents. We have to make our offer look and be perceived as one of the best offers and, and least risky. So how do we do that? We can't work with the lenders that have big red flags to the listing agent. Have to work with people that have great reputations here in town. And how do you know which ones those are? And to lean on my experience and our recommendations and referrals. Now, Mr. Buyer, I'm not saying to use this lender. All I'm saying is I'd recommend you use this one. I'm happy to give you multiple recommendations, not to try to steer you in a particular direction. Yet, if we stay away from those lenders with poor reputations, you're gonna have a much higher chance of getting our offer accepted. Step one. The other piece throughout this transaction process, why it's really important to use a lender that your agent has referred you, is there's gonna be an issue. Guys, what, what do we know about real estate transactions? None of them are ever the same. There's always something that comes up, it's either at an inspection or, or with a lender or a title. And guys, of the things that bust deals or make it really stressful on our, on our folks, a bunch of those issues can come from the lender. As an agent, we can have control over the inspection process and the repair and negotiation process, right? We don't have any control at all over a random lender selected online. And so what is in it for the buyer to make it in their interest to go with one of the lenders you referred? Here's an example of why. So let's say we're in the middle of that transaction and there's an issue, right? We need to work through it. I'm gonna call that lender, lending.com whatever it is, and say, hey, Mr. Mr. Lender, this is Zach at Homestead & Co. And he's gonna say, who? They don't know who we are. And frankly, they're in a call center in California and don't care whether you close on time or not close. They're still getting their hourly rate. On the flip side, if it's one of the lenders we refer locally, remember, these guys get paid on commission. So if they do a bad job, they're not getting any more referrals. So in scenario two, where there's an issue coming up, the same issue, we're calling that local lender and saying, hey, local lender, refer a partner of the agent. Hey, we had an issue on 123 Main Street. 
And they're gonna say, hey, Zach, got your message. We're gonna work on that right away. I have a, not, I have a solution back for you by the end of the day, worst case tomorrow, and we'll be able to move forward. Guys, if they don't, what's gonna happen? They're gonna lose a ton of referral business throughout the year. I'm gonna role play this with you a little bit and how to explain this to a, a buyer. So, hey, Mr. Buyer, how many homes are you gonna buy this year? And they're gonna say one, we're all gonna buy one, right? And how many are you gonna buy over the next seven years with this one? Probably one. That's right, so you're only gonna do one deal over the next seven years, right? Cool. How many deals do you think either me and my team, well, my, my team of agents out of my office refer to our, our preferred lenders? A ton, exactly. If you got a guy in a call center and what's the consequence or pain if this deal that you're working on busts to him? Little to none. And yet, if one of our lenders screws up a deal for you, they're gonna lose my business and they're gonna lose all of my teammates' businesses too. They screw up this deal. So you get to leverage our buying power, right? In order to deliver a higher level of service for you. You ever been part of a buying group or buying, trying to buy in volume or bulk? How much money do you save or better service do you get when you buy in bulk, right? But you're only buying one, but you're able to participate in our bulk process and our volume in order to give you a higher level of service. That's one of the benefits of working with me as your buyer's agent. Now guys, I'm not saying our lenders are perfect. They can still make mistakes, but I'll guarantee you this. They're gonna be much, much more motivated to get things fixed and made right as fast as humanly possible more so than a random call center loan officer in a random state around the country. It's another reason why we like, recommend going to the local lender. Worst case, I'm gonna go knock on their door and walk in their office and sit down with them figure out what's going on. I'll give you a ton of horror stories of trying to get a hold of lenders and they dodge your calls, dodge your calls, dodge your calls. Oh, it's after four, they're out of work for the day. They don't work before nine, so I can't call them before then. I love having those local referral relationships. We have their cell phone, we know where they live. We can go find them, figure out exactly what's going on, and get a solution to your problem. So agents, if we do our jobs right and there are issues that pop up, our clients never know. We help get them solved in the back end. So that's another great reason to, to encourage your buyers to work with your preferred lender. So let's take it one step further. Let's say you're brand new and you don't have a lender you prefer. If you're in an office, go find the top two or three or four highest producing agents. Ask them, who do you like to use who does a great job? If that lender, that loan officer knows they were referred by one of their top referral partners, you get to, to ride on the coattails of that agent's business. If that loan officer messes up for you, you've got a relationship with that, with that realtor. That loan officer knows he values that relationship with that referring partner that referred to you. And so you get to leverage that relationship early on, even if you don't do a ton of business yet. So guys, what do we know? We know it's incredibly important for our our buyers to get uh, to have a good process, get their offer accepted, to work with a good, reputable local lender. We also know it's very hard for the buyers to discern who's good and who's bad. So it's our job to educate them and explain it to them in a way that they can understand and make sense. It helps them make the right choice for them throughout the transaction process. Mm -hmm.